All right, hello everyone. This is Drew Badger, the co-founder of EnglishAnyone.com, and I am beginning. Oh, we have a special friend here today. I am on uh, the first stop for my world tour here near Tokyo, Japan. What is the name of your your specific town again? Tomisato. Tomisato. Uh, so, if I can uh, introduce the first lovely woman I am with, this is Miss Kumiko. You want to say hello to everyone? Hello. Yeah, but we came and we had a we had a lovely time yesterday. Yes. Just starting to get to know each other, and uh, we were. What did we do yesterday? We went to a Chinese restaurant. Restaurant. And uh, dinner. Yep, we had a lovely dinner yesterday, and just a lot of talking practice. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and here comes a huge truck. Well, that was amazing. Well, there's a lot of uh, excitement that's going to be in this video. I think maybe we should turn this camera off so we don't die uh, before we make this video. <laughs> so we've got today. What do we have planned for today? Are we going to? Osonomura. Uh huh. So this is a like a traditional Japanese, Japanese village. Bridge, yes. Yeah. All right. So we have arrived. Uh, we're at this uh, traditional Japanese village. Okay. So what what are we going to do over here today? Okay. Oh, sure, sure. So we'll make some. Uh, these are traditional Japanese mats. Some uh, kind of bigger examples of them over here. The old reed mats. They're actually quite thick for people's homes, and they smell very nice. So we are going to make some little tatami mats like this. It should be very interesting. So the first thing we need to do is pick. Uh, some paper or do you want to have uh, some fabric? Well, I'm going to do uh, these crabs. This looks interesting. Yeah, very cool for some goldfish and some crabs over here. <laughs> this, this video is all about like speaking, speaking practice. So you will be on YouTube. Okay, so you, you fold the fold the, paper. the paper in half. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to fold it in half again. Mm -hmm. So fold it in half. Fold in the half again. And turn over. And cross. Yeah. Easy. Easy this <laughs> Yeah, it's quite quite easy to make. Yeah. And next open. So fill up white tape for one. Put on here. Yeah, the double double-sided tape. Double sided double tape. Sided double sided tape. Sided tape. Sided tape. Mm -hmm. so, so, so. so it's got two sides. So two sides. Two. One side. One side, one side. Uh, side? Yeah. So 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 side. Size good. <laughs> size So if it was double sized, yeah. then it so, would have it would have two different sizes. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Double side. Yeah, this side. Mm. Um, this side and other side. And this side. Yeah. Double side tape. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. And this one, this finger, some finger, which you please put on inside. A little bit inside, so has better. We call that to crease. Yeah. Crease. 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 C R C R E A E A S E S E. Yeah. Crease. So I will crease. put a crease in this paper mm. right here. So mm. I'll fold it. Mm. Oh, and I this know. line is called mm. a crease. I crease. See. Yeah. This line is crease. Yep. Oh. So to make so, a crease. Mm, make. But this is a very make like a it's a very specific word. But specific that's the word. the whole point of uh, when you get to make something like mm. this, you learn the word and you remember it. Crease. Yeah. Crease. So oh. please make a crease in the crease paper. Make a crease in the paper. Make a crease in the paper. Yeah. So when you're doing uh, origami, it's the same thing. Yeah. And 
this corner. Yep. Oh. So you can say, please, please make a crease or to to, to put uh, oh. to put pressure put on it. Pressure on it. Yeah. Oh. So like you, it leaves a, a, a line in the paper mm -hmm. that you can it see. It leaves a line in the paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see. So the different one, like uh, like your clothing, mm -hmm. uh, like this is a like a fold. Mm -hmm. Oh. So it, you don't you don't you can't leave a crease. Crease. Oh, uh, in crease in clothing. Window. So you've got a fold. Mm -hmm. Uh, or a wrinkle, mm. but a wrinkle will come out if you iron it. So uh, something hard like this, like you can't, you can't take the crease out I of the see. paper. So for mm. example, this one, this paper is uh, so hard. Yeah. So this, um, this line is the crease. crease yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same. Like those wrinkles, they they don't come out. But many, many yeah, yeah. So that's why. I see. Uh, never come out. Yeah. So if a new word takes you more time to learn, then you can just say it more slowly. So double-sided tape. Double-sided tape. And then as you understand the word more, then sided, 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 sided. Yeah. It's kind of like, like the word excited. Excited. Yeah, like I'm excited about double-sided tape. I'm excited about the double-sided tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are you are the the first person to be excited about double-sided tape. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, it's finished. All right. Tatami right. course. Thank you. Yeah. All right, now we're going to try on some traditional Japanese armor, and then you will try the kimono armor yes. after that. So we have, you want to get in the video? Mm? You want to be on YouTube? Mm, uh, All right, come on out, uh, look at that. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Yoshio. So this is Yoshio, <laughs> this is a friend of Kumiko's who is coming with us today. Mm -hmm.